We're gonna do a reading or a collective read just for Twin Flames, for the Divine Feminine, for the Divine Masculine, just to see what is going on. Today is one of my favorite days as we have our half-lit moon will be aligning with the Pleiades. And this is bringing a lot of powerful Pleiadian energy through as well too. It's a great time to be connecting with the galactic energies. They're amazing for bringing through energies for healing and for manifesting. But let's just go ahead and do a reading starting with the Divine Feminine to see what is going on. Okay, so separation, needing to pull back, heal your heart. If you're not having like a lot of communication or God forbid, no separate no communication with your twin flame or just a lack of communication this is working on the triggers that are coming up and then if they're kind of like i hate using the word avoiding but avoiding or you know not around so much they're needing to work through their own triggers sometimes twin flames can trigger each other energetically this is part of the activation process that happens as well too in separation this is like the deepest healing work that you'll ever do when you're in alignment with your own inner divine feminine and masculine energies you will shift into a powerful alignment with your twin flame this is union as well too sometimes the space in between if you're in that separation is working on being more balanced and aligned and grounded energetically so we're gonna do a nice little spread for the divine feminine Amazing energies for illuminating things right now. Our moon holds our emotions. So expect that. There's a lot of powerful downloads, clarity, and insights that are going to come to you right now, especially if you are a twin flame about your own specific twin flame situations. Everyone's situation is different, but they are designed to help you to heal some of the same things that may be coming up. You'll notice that on the twin flame journey, everyone might have different experiences kind of going on but designed to help you to heal certain things as well too. So we're going to start with a reading specifically for the Divine Feminine to see what is going on. All right, this is the getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And this is important too because you're very much getting to know past aspects or aspects of each other as well too. Once you guys do, when you guys start to notice that with Twin Flames, you guys can talk about anything and that you can easily get on with each other and talk about certain things. And when you are, you begin to notice that each connection in your life is mirroring something and revealing something to you. Sometimes these are rooted in past things that you need to acknowledge or to heal. And so you'll notice that sometimes other people's situations that you're drawing to you at this particular time in your experience are to help you to heal deeper core issues and things like that. All relationships are a mirror. However, with your twin flame, you're gonna notice that you guys have a lot in common, whether there's a lot of synchronicity kind of going on, having had similar past core traumas you guys understand each other very nicely as well too but you're needing to kind of get to know each other as well too as you're kind of trying to move together and move closer together too this could be things coming up wounds being revealed things coming to the surface as the moon kind of brings things up this is like the hidden shadow work too so we have a lot of powerful astrology that's coming at us and some of it has been showing us the relationship shadows like like I don't want to make a joke about it but February might have been a little rough on your relationships right with all of this Aquarius energy it can put distance in things or have things kind of coming up as well too it's really good for socializing and networking with friends and things being revealed and stuff like that but good news we're about to shift into Pisces season we're in the tail end of Aquarius season however today we did have a shift of Venus and Aquarius and this is kind of um, changing things about our connections especially our romantic ones as well too expect tomorrow we have a powerful alignment with Pluto and Aquarius and things like that and expect the sparks to fly your desires are going to come forth this this means that your twin flame might be really really missing you or desiring you like kind of physical right you guys have a very strong attraction and you guys might be really desiring each other or wanting each other could be missing each other we have some things that have come up about this energy there has been deception 
with things this is like you might be seeing through things too like you might have seen through certain things with your twin flame and this is always the 3d facade and things like that whether it was seeing more of their full potential and where they should be with things or seeing through the the 3d of it the falsities and things like that sometimes this could be your partner wasn't truthful with you about something or they were trying to hide things and um it could come out in different ways but also it's the 3d of it too and that maybe you saw through their what they're presenting and so when we talk about the mass this is, could be hiding their feelings and not being truthful on that level or you know trying to play it cool whatever that translates to too there's been things that have come up in this connection though. Okay, we do have, there are, this is my crown chakra card about your beliefs and purging out old beliefs and old limiting beliefs so that you can go bigger with your life. Something that I've realized is just to keep working on yourself as different things are gonna change in your life as you're moving through the spiritual ascension, but you're having to reassess a lot of beliefs. Some of this is like the more, we're having to let go of religion 3D programming, ego beliefs, family programming, and things like that to really get where we want to be on this spiritual path. So you might have old beliefs that are coming up, and these could be beliefs about yourself because oftentimes your twin flame is going to trigger and things reveal deeper truths about yourself. This could be your own internal thinking, internal program, internal blocks. Things are coming out of the shadows and being revealed during this time. This could be deeper truths and insights coming to you. Pay attention to your downloads that are coming to you specifically about your twin flame situation everything in your life is happening so that you can get this wisdom and knowledge and downloads and guidance as well too so you, it's very important that you're connecting with your own inner guidance about your situation it's going to help you a ton this is a twin flame situation you're meant to be shifting this into union this is engagement and wedding card and these could be goals of yours if there's something that you want in your life but this is where this is supposed to take you your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment the situation may involve marriage and this is important too because twin flames are meant to come together and do the whole deal with it as well too and i think this is very very important with it too so these are questions of commitment coming up too this could be wanting more in the relationship wanting more from your connections this could be dating for the long term so aquarius is the ultimate future energy too so what venus is love and planet of um, love and finances and things like that but Aquarius is planning our future energy is meant to help take us there as well too so you might have a focus on the future and where this relationship is taking you divine feminine you might feel between dimensions and between worlds right now you're becoming multi-dimensional that's what all of these galactic energies are helping us to do you're meant to be having this physical experience but ascending into higher levels of consciousness which open you up to the higher spiritual realms as well too you might feel you know in between worlds right now this could be navigating the dream dimensions, the astrals that are opening up, navigating the fifth dimension for some of you guys that are kind of in and out of it. Or it could be maybe you're fully anchored into the fifth dimension and you're trying to navigate the 3D experience when you have to go do the things there because I was saying there's no way around it. And oftentimes our frequency will determine the realities that we're living in and the worlds that we're living in as well too. You're needing to take a chance on this connection. And so this is like, trusting the universe being all in on this union and things like this past karmic wounds may have kept you closed off or kept you closed off in your heart chakra this is about releasing karma finding forgiveness with your past connections and the things that you've been through so that you can be all in with this connection as well too i always say when you're all in your twin flame will be all in too we have past connections that are coming up too on both sides um with things as well too so this is you share a strong spiritual connection with this person. You're bonded together in the spiritual in a way that you won't be with other people. You will have other connections in your life. All of you guys have had karmics and soulmates and things like that and different connections, which were more about the lessons that you got, figuring out what worked, didn't work, moving forward. But you have a strong spiritual bond with this person. This person that we're doing the reading for is your twin flame. You're meant to be with this person in full union. Some of you guys are in that union and you're working on it and working on bigger goals. Some of you guys are kind of in these separations. It just kind of depends on where you're at. 
when you're in union, it's going to help bring healing to your finances. Um, it's a really good time to be working on healing things financially, focusing on yourself and focusing on your energy. You'll notice when you get low in energy, it's often reflected financially. And when you're doing really good energetically, you're tapping into more, you're manifesting and generating more money. So this is a sacral healing. This might be healing from past relationships that's coming up because we have you know there's something with this twin flame connection too it could be you're on the outs you're not having as much communication as you should there's barriers some of you guys have different type of obstacles that have come up in this connection this could be wounds and things that have been surfacing from it energies maybe this person's gone hot or cold or you're not getting as much as you should from this person this is healing your heart time to take care of your heart chakra and to fully open up your heart there's a strong magnetic attraction. It's why you guys can't seem to get each other off your minds. You might have this person as the first thought when you wake up in the morning and right when you're going to bed especially. But there's a strong magnetic attraction. This person wants you like on the physical level and they're very pulled to you. And this can be a little bit kind of confusing as well too. Divine Feminine is feeling regret over some of the past things that have happened though and that have played out within this connection that might have created blocks in your union. These might be inner blocks or things that you need to work through as well too. Sometimes our twin flame just shows us things we have going on or they can bring things out that need healing too. Real quick, make sure you guys are booking me on my website, sparksofdivinelighthealing.com if you guys need me. It's very important that you are. You guys should be doing twin flame readings. This will go into your specific situation and we'll talk about it. I do a 30 minute phone call for the twin flame readings. You can do them as often as you need to. I do healing sessions. Oftentimes your twin flame is going to trigger the deepest level of healing work that you will ever do in your life. This is why it's very important that you're doing some type of energy healing, clearing work, or even activation work. This will help you a ton as you're trying to move through your own twin flame journey. So I have tons of healings on my website specifically for twin flames check them out i do twin flame coaching this will help you work your way into union from start to finish as well too make sure you're checking that out it helps you a ton with your own twin flame journey and experience if you guys need me just book me on my website i'm always recommending that you guys do the twin flame coaching too all right, destiny. You're destined to be with this person. If you're in separation, though, you may feel kind of off your path or lost. Know that all paths lead home to your twin flame on some type of level as well, too. This could take many lifetimes. This is the person that you were looking for your entire life and that you probably found them energetically. And you're going to know it because you're probably going to feel a very strong pull to them or you're just going to have an inner knowing or, you know, oftentimes when you meet, you know, as well, too, through the journey and the lessons. This is the person that is destined to be with you as well, too. Oftentimes, you might be pulled back to do deeper level of work as well, too, in the separations. You know the separation if you're in them, because this is just general re, but if you're in a separation, it's leading to union on some type of level. Pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities. They're trying to get your attention past all of it. You might get have them pop in and out throughout your day, or you're getting a spirit message. And sometimes these are calm, loving messages that are coming to you about your specific situation. They're way past the ego. There are spirit guides that are popping in. You might have a connection, a strong connection with your twin flames, higher self, or they're popping in throughout the day too to give you messages reinsurance or you could feel their energy this could come as downloads thoughts you're probably going to be trying to find them in the dreams and the astrals you might have dream experiences that are coming through many of you guys when you're in a twin flame connection you have a lot of dreams with this person where they're coming through in the dream time as well too all right, this person is your twin flame. They are meant to be your king to your queen energy, right? Like, what did someone say? They want, they were doing um, the princess stuff. I was like, I'm a queen. <laughs> like, right, I'm a whole queen. Like, I'm not doing the princess stuff. I did that when I was growing up with my family. I was taught as a princess. But guess what? Stepping into this queen and king energy, when you merge your realities together, you very much will be as well, too. It just kind of depends on your kingdom that's going on. This is your divine masculine. They're coming through in your reading, too. They're going through a lot of healing 
and healing of old wounds that have been torn open as well too. Make sure you're opening your heart. Make sure that you have good boundaries with this person. Oftentimes twin flames can trigger toxic traits that you guys thought you were well past that are buried and suppressed, whether old emotions, negative energies, you know, old behaviors and patterns and things like that have boundaries with this person. I always say it's very important of setting that standard of how to be treated as well too. You are the whole high priestess. You're going through a spiritual awakening and expanding of your consciousness. You're meant to be connecting with the galactics, opening up to your higher self and reconnecting with source during this time. And you're going to get a lot of spiritual knowledge, wisdom and downloads. You're getting the medicine and how to heal and you're being taught things past here. Many of you guys are connecting with galactics and different star systems. It's an amazing day today to be collecting, connecting with the Pleiadians or to be doing some type of Pleiadian activation or healing work. All right, so we have your light body is activating. We have a lot of strong energies coming at us, right? This is all about you have to live in your light body to go through these changes that are happening during this time. So take care of your light body. I keep talking about vitamins, detoxing, healing your body, healing your light body, healing your spiritual connection, getting more sun and things that are good for us, like you're a flower and you're a plant. Doing more healing sessions and things like that will help you with this activation in your light body. Make sure you're grounding, shielding, and protecting your energy right now. We have a lot of energy flying around. You guys are probably getting really sensitive to the collective energies that have been a little bit heavy lately. Very important that you're staying grounded and protecting your energy. This is your higher self coming through in the reading. The feminine's twin is going through a lot of activation with the connection of your higher self. If you're in separation, it's so you can reconnect to yourself and to go through upgrades. So don't look at it like a bad thing. Look at separation like you're being upgraded and you're meant to come together. Some of you guys might do many phases of this. It depends on where you and your twin flame are in, in this energetic process. You'll probably see it's needed if your masculine's a little bit more asleep or has more stuff that they're dealing with or vice versa. It could be you that has stuff going on too. All right. We're going to go ahead and do a reading now. I'm just doing a quick reading too. We're going to go ahead and do a reading now for the Divine Masculine. See what is going on. <clears throat> I'm kind of doing a quick reading too. Beautiful energies though. You guys are going to feel creative, inspired in these energies and have many different things coming through. Pay attention to the creative inspiration that you're getting. All right, so Divine Masculine. If you've been a little too serious, <laughs> this could be trauma response. Time to live life and have a little bit of fun. And this is really allowing your shine and spirit to come through through this connection. This is meant to be bringing you back to life and things like that. This is the one, and it kind of depends, right? This is the one. You have a twin flame. They're around you. You've met them. You've been made aware of it. It's up to you to do the work to shift it into union and to work on building these connections. They're like anything else. It's about what you're putting into it as well, too. But if you've been questioning this connection, this is the one. You've already met them. There's some been some unrequited love. This is one-sided, right? I'm like, don't get me started on this topic, right? This is like you get what you're putting back into things as well, too. Maybe you're needing to put a little bit more love, time, attention, and care into this connection as well, too. It's going to be whatever you're putting into it that you're going to get back out of it as well, too. So there's a strong attraction in chemistry, but, you know... Needing to open up more on your side with this too. And then I see why you haven't too. Okay, so we have a whole mess of things happening on the masculine side. We have past toxic relationships where you've been in codependent relationships and this twin flame is triggering these things within yourself. It's triggering old love wounds and bringing it up. You have energy around you where you have other suitors around you. You have crushes and people that you've been kind of entertaining and you know they've been looking at you and you love that attention. You haven't fully cleaned up your karmic stuff yet. You also have... Um, this is like new love and new beginning. So whether it's going to be with someone new because you're you're kind of in this space where you want your freedom and you're kind of looking at other people and things like that and you're soaking up those vibes. But you also have this, are you going to kind of move forward with this twin flame connection as well too? So you have old situations that are blocking this connection in some type of way. 
and it might have you kind of in limbo. We were talking about being in between, right? You haven't fully, for many, some of you have, so for those in separation, you haven't fully committed or stepped up to this union. You have old stuff that's swaying you, whether it is wanting to keep your freedom and flirt with other people or old stuff karmically that you haven't resolved. And it's just old habits and patterns. And this is like needing to change some things to come into union. And this is you, you're on this side because this card is, I don't know if we'll ever change things. So you're kind of stuck in the old and you like your freedom being by yourself. You've kind of been set in your ways with doing things like that. And that's okay. But you have suddenly this union that has appeared in your life and the universe is trying to guide you into a different type of path. We have strong, strong cards. Marriages come up in both of these readings, right? For the feminine and the masculine where you're meant to come into this full union and then this is going to take disconnecting from a lot of things, disconnecting from the rest of the world and connecting into this union where twin flames have the amazing capacity to stay in their own little world and generate a lot, whether generate your own energy, um, fi money, finances, things to do. And so we have this kind of energy coming up, but there's been some sabotaging things that something messed this connection up and that there's this could be sabotaging patterns. This could be from the feminine's end, from your end as well, to be mindful because something has left this, your divine feminine, the connection is broken right now. For those in separation, you might not be feeling your divine feminine. They might be moving on with their life. Um, you might have left them heartbroken and very upset with you in some type of way. It just kind of depends on where they're at as well too. So we did have sabotaging behaviors that have come up. This is a reading for the masculine. So on your side, this could be old patterns and things like that. Um, but we also have this other stuff where there's such a focus on the matrix. You have a lot of focus on your own self and on your finances that have been probably putting pressure on this. So we have like financial issues, career has been maybe coming first before your feminine. And then we have legal matters. This is the karmic justice card. So there's old stuff that's come up for some of you guys. You have marriage contracts that are still open that are in the way of the union. Some of you guys might have court stuff that isn't resolved that this is going to take precedence over other things. And karma are things that, you know, you reap what you sow when you're roped into the karmic justice card, whether it courts in any way, you're needing to face that too. So there is some type of judgment that needs to happen with things, some type of balancing, something is unresolved. And this could be just within your connection with your twin flame and things like that. Divine Feminine is left, you know, thinking on all of this, that there have been mistakes made in this connection, but there's also a lot happening on the Divine Masculine side where you haven't fully moved it forward. You've been really stubborn. You haven't been going with the flow of the universe, and maybe you've been holding up this union, and this is fear, old patterns, and wanting your freedom and things like that are coming up big time in this reading. This is down to not feeling worthy enough for this connection or not really believing in the universe fully, not trusting the universe fully. So there's this energy of not feeling good enough that both of you have been left in from this connection. But there's a strong attraction and this is a divine union that is destined to happen at some point. For those of you guys that it hasn't happened, doing more of that healing work and mastering yourself so that it can. There's a strong attraction with this person that's going to pull you to this person ultimately too. This is the Holy Grail. This is the, the one. Right? It's the search. It's the goddess. It's the divine. You've been trying to tap into the spiritual and the divine your whole life. And you're going to find it in the divine feminine. However, this isn't an easy conquest. As your awakened divine feminine is going to be much different. They're going to see you clearly. They're not going to... They're not going to subscribe to your lower patterns that you've been doing. They won't subscribe to the mind games, the manipulation, the toxicity that you've been carrying around for a long time that you've been doing in your karmic closet and things like that. They're going to cut through to the truth and things like that. So we have this. This is a light worker. This is a truth teller. This is someone who is an awakened warrior that is part of the light as well, too, where some of your past comics were kind of on that darker spectrum as well, too, if you didn't notice. And this is someone that is awakened. They're going to bring out your distortions into the light and reveal things to you about yourself that you may or may not be ready to. But ready or not, here we are, right? Things are coming to the surface. So this person has pushed up a lot for you. This is clearing karma. They're activating your kudalini. You have a very strong attraction to this person and even sexual attraction to this person, but they're also pushing the karma to the surface that 
needs to be cleared as well too and they're pushing things to the surface so as you've been being activated by this person different things are coming up and, to, and this person is meant to be your ascension buddy or your partner to help you to resolve some of these things so we have old karma coming to the surface you have a lot of stored karmic energies that need to be dealt with clear your energy blocks you have things that are blocking up your system sometimes when it's repressed emotions and you shoving them in and they're you know opening them up like pandora's box and they've created energy blocks that might be affecting you this is activating your chakras as well too. make sure that you're opening up activating your chakras and doing the healing work it's going to be so so needed it's time to raise your frequency this is like all about higher conscious awareness, raising your vibrational frequency so that you can match it to union or match it to your feminine as well too. Um, ways that you need to raise your vibe. All right, this is opening up your throat chakra. This is um, activating your throat chakra and this will make your energy more electric and magnetic too. Many of you guys, masculines are struggling with the throat chakra and finding your voice and expressing yourself. This will help you to tap into your higher self and a lot more creative energy as well. So you're being guided to really heal your throat chakra. This is going to connect you with higher states of consciousness, but also open you up and activate you for the 5D as well too. And this is about mastering the chakras, balancing your chakras. So for the Divine Masculine, make sure that you are healing and activating your chakras. This will help you a ton with clearing different energies and releasing karma and karmic blocks that are coming up within your chakras. How do you know you have karma about <laughs> oh, wow. the karmic surface, right? And things like that. Oftentimes they appear out of nowhere. It could be old people surfacing. This is indicating that you have blocks in your system. And since we have this heart chakra healing happening for the divine feminine, make sure that you're opening up your heart as well too and activating your heart chakra. I'm going to go on that note anyways, but have a beautiful day. If you guys need me, I do relationship readings on my website. I do twin flame readings and I help you guys work your way into union. So it's all about healing these separation blocks or issues that are coming up. This could be ways you guys are putting distance in the connection or not fully coming together or doing dances around it or trying to hold on to the old. We have a huge thing about letting go of the old right now to open up to the new, but have a beautiful day. I'm around. If you guys need me, just book me on my website, Sparks of Divine Light healing.com make sure you guys are doing more energy healing sessions with me it will help you a ton with your own specific situation